And I thought it might be helpful to uh, share a few um, Unix type commands that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, particularly I'm using uh, Apple's uh, OS X operating system right now which is uh, based on the mock kernel uh, similarities with uh, BSD. Um, so if you've got a terminal window open uh, there's uh, one or two commands that you can type to figure out uh, exactly what uh, version you're using. So if you do uname dash A and hit enter uh, it will tell you for example in this case um, I'm using Darwin so I know I'm actually on Apple and um, the, uh, the version numbers and then usually some type of information about the type of architecture that you're running on. Uh, Apple converted from PowerPC chip to Intel here a while back and so uh, we're actually running off of, of Intel chipset in this particular box. Um, so um, to, uh, to look around the directory I'm in uh, I can use the ls command. There's several variations of this. I'll show those to you. Um, just simply doing ls will list the, the files with, without any information uh, related to them, just the file names. Uh, ls-l for long will list the permissions for the file, uh, who owns it, and the group that the uh, primary group that the owner is in, the uh, date timestamp when it was last uh, updated or modified, and of course the file name itself. And I'll go back and explain these permissions in just a moment a little bit better. Also, uh, you can do ls-l a. And if you've got any files that begin with dot, they'll show up here. Now in this case, we don't, but if, for example, we were in my home directory uh, and we wanted to deal with something like dot cshrc, uh, we could do echo hi there. And if I do an ls, you're not going to see it, but the ls la will actually give you your dot files. Uh, and those are usually um, used for when the shell starts up for configuring it and setting environment variables and things along those lines. Now, uh, as I promised a second ago, let's uh, go over some of the permissions here. So there's a group of three different permissions per file. Uh, we start off with the first area. These are the permissions for the owner. Uh, in this case, the R stands for read, the W is for write. And this third position would be for execute. So if this was a script and I wanted to run it, uh, there would actually be an X there. So I could do something like chmod755 to hello.txt. And now you can see that there's actually some X's in these positions as opposed to just a dash where there wasn't anything set before. So now what this new permission says is that I, as the owner of this file, can read, I can write it, and I can attempt to run it. Well, there's no instructions in this thing, so uh, it's not really actually run, but at least the permissions are set so that it can. The next set of permissions are for the group. So users are put into groups when they're on a Unix Linux type system. Uh, in this case, I'm in group staff, so any other user ID that's on this box that's in group staff would be able to read and execute this file. And then finally, anybody else that's on the box that doesn't fit into my group can also read and write uh, to this file. Uh, so I wouldn't really want to put anything sensitive in there. You can do cat to display the contents of the file. And I've just simply got a hello in there. Um, so one of the um, commands for changing permissions I used a moment ago was what we call it jamod. And I can do 600 text and I can look at it again and now I've made so if I had something sensitive in this file uh, for example my social security number or something along those lines at this point I am the only one that can do anything with this file uh, no one else in the box or in my group is able to to see it and the relationship for this is the first digit maps to the first set of permissions for myself the second digit maps to the group permissions and uh, let's see, try to get those right. Kind of hard when there's nothing in there for the group permissions. And then, of course, the last digit is going to map to everybody else that's on the box. Hope this helps.